All right. Um, so let's move on to uh, number 133. Was Jesus crucified the day before or the day after the Passover meal? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, th this one, I, I think, tends to get brought up a lot in uh, apologetics books like this and other ones that, um, that I've seen um, uh, because of exactly, you know, uh, w what did the Passover week look like? Was it just a single day? Well, it, it seems like it's more than just a single day that the Passover week is occurring because of exactly when everything is falling. And, um, and we, we tend to, again, not think in, in Jewish terms in the Jewish calendar. And here we have kind of the, the, where the, where the problem, um, gets it, um, Gets, gets so he suggests from. that this one then is uh, again due to semantic anachronism, mm -hmm. fallacy, and failure to read the text carefully. Notice, w uh, was Jesus crucified the day before, the day after the Passover? The answer is neither. neither. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why? It's because Jesus was crucified on the day of Passover by the Jewish reckoning, right. so by the Jewish calendar. Um, that would be um, on the Friday. And then of course, the day would then, according to oh. how Jewish Jews kept time, would begin at sunset right. on Thursday. On Thursday, right? leading into Friday. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, It's like being on third shift. I, I know this perfectly. I always talk about, you know, yes, I work Thursday going into Friday so that right. you know, day walkers know exactly <laughs> when I'm talking about. And I also... So you, you'd be a night walker then? Yeah, I'm a <laughs> night walker. Yes. So it, it's, it's, it's about trying to figure out how to how a person is talking about how they're splitting up their day and also the Passover week being a, a preparation throughout the entire week and not just a single day um, so oh, this, yeah, yeah go ahead so uh, just uh, John uh, 19 14 through 16 is um, uh, is one of the passages um, now it was the day of preparation of the Passover. It was about the sixth hour. He said to the Jews, Behold your king. They cried out, Away with him, away with him. And this was Pilate. And then uh, Mark fourteen twelve says that on the first day of unleavened bread, when they sacrificed the Passover lamb, his disciples said to him, Where will you have us go and prepare for you to eat the Passover? And then Mark fifteen twenty five says it was the third hour when they crucified him. Um, and I know Bart Ehrman tends to use this um, example as an issue with the problem with the text, but he seems to not not learn when when brought up in, in debates about exactly how this, this thing occurs. And it seems like he's trying to force John into forcing the crucifixion to happen on um, the the sacrifice of the Passover lamb so that it it brings super uh, um, symbolic with with Christ's um, own, own death as well, mm -hmm. well, or it's occurring exactly when uh, the 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 um, scriptures have it laid out, and you just need to read the text carefully and understand what who's talking in what time frame. Good. All right. So, uh, was Jesus crucified the day before or the day after? Neither he was crucified on the day, mm -hmm. right when the day started, uh, which would have been um, the sunset Thursday. Mm -hmm. right? He celebrated the Passover meal on Thursday evening after sunset. He was crucified on Friday, which was still Passover by the Jewish calendar. Right. All right.